Okay, welcome to the stream. We're going to continue Tears of the Kingdom. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. Main menu looks cool. I checked that out. Um, but also I was playing other stuff off stream. Okay. So yeah, um, it was Mother's Day launch thing today. My brother had the amiibo for this, so... One thing I did get off stream was, uh, the sailcloth fabric, so... I got that now. It's pretty much the same odds as, uh, yeah. The outfits is pretty low chance. Hey, hey Colrum, good morning. How's it going? I'm trying this again. I'm doing, I mean, I'm doing this again. Because I almost had it last night. Where you keep your horses from Breath of the Wild, oh, so it transfers across? Yeah. Well, that's good. I haven't been to a stable, to be fair, but yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna have a pony again. How was Mother's Day? It was nice to just chill. Me and my brothers hang out. I mean, I just... Lunch and dinner. So. <laughs> niece was playing, uh... Let's go Pikachu, and so it was requested that I bring Pokemon to trade, so I had to grind some stuff. Yeah, so I did some Pokemon trades with her. That is wrong. Ah, oh, right, yeah, because it doesn't... Uh, I'm not happy with it, but it can still work. It's, just, it's, it's a big hassle to fix this. But yeah, pretty laid back. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as long as it works. But granted, my brother sh shared a picture of the boat he tried to build for the opening area, and it, it was just all crooked and a mess. So at least I did a better job than that. I think we all did. <laughs> Last time I was short. There's no other way. There's probably another way. There is probably another way. Am I going to try another way? No. Because I want this to work. But see, the fact that these are here as well kind of leads me to believe that this is what they want you to do. This is... 
insanely long. Okay, uh, that. All right. That make it go the correct way. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of difficult. Okay. Oh boy. Oh no, this, this is a mess. Okay. Drop it. Hang on, hang on! Drop it. That's fine. Okay, and now we... Oh wow, it's still going. <laughs> okay. And now push it. Sir, please. Okay. Hold! No! Hold! Oh, no. <laughs> okay, get get closer to the edge. Get closer to the edge. It's kinda working. Drop. Ah! Oh not this shit again. Okay, rewind. Hang on. It'll, it'll be back. No, 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 come on, that was... Okay, that, there it is. Got it. Okay, I just need to be more patient. Because it has white to it. I have no way to control this. Like, this is just insane. Come on. No. That. Drop. <laughs> oh shit. I think I got it. <laughs> I'm saving. Why is this all locked up? And whether they have a warning sign? Maybe this is just a different season. Maybe nothing happened here. Hold on, that's not safe. I thought it was yaha ha time. Ooh, it left an ice shard though. Interesting. So now let's. <laughs> oh, 
We got an ice one. Okay, I thought that was going to cause problems. It's okay. Can't really assume that there's no Koroks in these trees. What is that? Oh, it's water. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, I can't really tell. It's, I'm not going to climb every tree. But I think ones that stand out. One that's just taller than others, maybe. This is eerily empty. Okay, this is still here, though. Stamina vessel, please. Okay, there's Rito here. So I think being able to run was going to be critical. We're about to practice our so Oh, they're a, they're a bit older now. Look at them. They were little children. Now they're... Wait, how come you're still tiny? They're a bit older. Song of the Stormwind Ark. We're going to sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. Are you going to listen to our song, mister? Let's hear it. Yeah, we love an audience, so we'll give our best for you. How much time do I think it's passed? I mean, at least a couple years. Once a god fell from heaven, stilling the Hebra winds. The heavens grew lifeless just as the air blew thin below thinned. With the world in upheaval, we pledged to help the Lord. A line of ships soaring, built as passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its winds brought us life, thanks to the great divine spark. Ah. You know, this song is about the Ark that saved Rito Village long, long ago. Something bad happened then. Just like something bad's happening now. Ah. Hey, that Stormwind Ark, is it really real? I'd be so happy if it was. Ah. It definitely is. Papa told me it's always watching over us high in the sky. Ah. I'm sure we could use its help with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. What? Ah. Well, if we don't have the Ark and we don't have the adults, then it's up to us kids to take care of the village. What, did, what do they mean by the adults aren't around? I hope they don't mean that they died. <laughs> what? Most of the adults aren't around. What happened? Practice is over for today again, Lee. You're in charge of food. And Molly will need you to make arrows. Yeah. We've all got jobs to do, so let's do them. Hey. Yeah. Ah. Kid power. So this is just a village of children now. Ooh, this is dark. Oh no, I did it again. The beds are too soft and inviting. <gasps> yeah, a customer. Who's sleeping? I wasn't sleeping, not me. <gasps> Welcome to the Swallows Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. <gasps> okay. Um, never mind, I'm good. <sighs> yeah. So all the adults are gone for some reason. 
Oh, thank you. There's a shrine here. The store is still open. Okay. Hi. Full timeies make for happy Rito. That's why I like learning new meals out of the recipe book. I saw one in there that I know everyone would love. A fish pie with staminoka base. Bass. I said base. Idiot. Does that sound- doesn't that sound yummy? The problem is I can't leave the village to catch a staminoka bass. Thanks to this dumb blizzard. I have everything else. To bend the wheat, goat butter, rock salt. But if I'm gonna make a fish pie, I need the fish. I need staminoka bass. Hey, Nick. Thanks for the 49 months, dude. How's it going? Hope all is well. Hooray, a customer. Welcome to the Slippery Falcon General Store. Thanks for stopping by in spite of the weather. So what can I do for you, mister? What is this place? Shop we can buy cooking ingredients. Okay. I mean, I don't have money right now. My money is... I don't have income. What are the shrine? What are the odds oh, the shrines are all in the same spot from Breath of the Wild? I think on purpose they're not. There's some that have been shifted ever so slightly. It's going good, Hopper, enjoying the new Zelda. It's fun so far here. Yeah. I'm really enjoying it. It's definitely a much darker vibe. I'll be able to get another stamina vessel after this one. Yeah, I just had a uh, Mother's Day lunch stuff today. Because uh, my mom's busy tomorrow, so. Just got back from that. A bit tired, so I'm just chilling. I'm having some potato chips right now, in case you can't hear it. Ride the winds. Ooh, familiar. Don't hear it? Okay, not loud enough. Lasers. Oh, this is cool. It's always louder inside my head, I know. But I think my old mic used to pick it up. Like this mean ooh. Let's reconsider this. This new mic is a lot better. Damn it, I want the stuff. It's all gone. And that's here. Okay. This should be another one over here. Why are the arrows not as light? Like <laughs> you would think the arrows would float as well. Ooh, that's a good bow. Okay. I was up really late playing this last night. So I don't know, we'll see how we go tonight. I imagine it's going to be a, a bit quiet. Because no one wants to get spoiled too much. I'm 
my brother also told me that um the camera functionality you do get is just not obvious because uh I talked to the guy too early. <laughs> You like being spoiled? Fair enough. Yeah, I'm gonna redeem this immediately. After that encounter yesterday, yeah, I'm getting my stamina up right away. I'll take it to one bonus wheel, and then I'll, uh... I'll go back to getting health. Yaha ha. Yaha ha. The way you figure by the time you get to play the game, people will be done with the game and you'll find out what happens anyway. That's true. It doesn't- it really doesn't take long for people to be done with this game. I mean, Breath of the Wild, it was like, within a week, it was- people were already done with it. A source of income. What can I sell? The problem is some of these materials I have a lot of, but I'm not sure if they're going to be valuable. Like, I'm going to need them. That's not going to be enough to- that's 180. As long as I can buy one other piece. Yeah. Oh. 500. 650. Like, I need that. I need to get to 650. The good news is I can teleport here anytime now. Like, I don't have to go through what I just went through to, uh, get the bridge <laughs> going again. No one's really addressed why the adults are missing. They're just not here. That's all that's been said. How about this one? Hmm, you need something, mister? Because I'm actually kind of busy. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monsters solid. Which gave me an amazing idea for an invention. Mwahaha. My problem is I can't go out to pick fruit now. With the blizzard and all. Ugh, it's not fair. 
This is the best invention I've come up with in so long, but without ice fruit, I can't make it. I think I have some. Let's see. Huh? Huh, mister, I feel a cold breeze coming from your pouch. Huh? huh, mister? What's that you've got? That's the ice fruit I wanted, isn't it? Well, looks like you've also got some cold, jelly-like stuff. Is that white choo-choo jelly from one of the monsters that'll freeze you solid if you touch it? Uh. Wow, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I can use that to make my big invention. May I have either one of the ice fruit or the white chew jelly, please? I have the fruit. Wow. Yeah, I can finally make my invention. Oh. When I attach this to a tip of an arrow... Yeah, I mean, I knew this already. Sometimes I'm so smart, I scare myself a little. I wonder what'll happen with other materials. You can make arrows with all sorts of effects. Oh. Now, wow, listen to me. With every breath, I spew out brilliance. Wah! But I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. Anyway, here's a thank you present. Hey, Flame Fader, how's it going? You know, the reason I like making arrows, it's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. I wanted to make the arrows that would go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, getting my name out there, and one day, I'll be a world-famous arrow maker. One my papa can be proud of. Okay. I think at this point I would have preferred money. Oh, no, see, it, okay, there's two adults here. Okay. That's not fair at all! You know I can handle it! Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone! <sighs> if we don't do anything, the village... Huh? Is that you? <laughs> it is you! Blink! It was but a mere bab in the previous game. Mm. Oh, okay. What happens if you use arrows to arrows? You can't. Arrows are not a uh, selectable thing. I have some potato chips in my mouth. <laughs> Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Oh, new Rita Elder. It's very nice to see you again. Do you remember my son, Chulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Uh. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. <laughs> as long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. Uh. What, you think I can't? I'm already fully fledged, you know? You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. You can all keep wasting your time treating the Song of the Stormwind arc like it's real, but not me. <laughs> Listen, you. Unbelievable. Chulin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing. No, he mentioned a song. It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it was true. Still, every now and then, you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems far less far-fetched. Even the song of the Stormwind Ark is just a children's rhyme. I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. That is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. But Chulin, he thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Huh. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? <sighs> what? This is terrible news. So then, not even Hyrule Castle is safe? If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow, hmm, we Rito ordinarily love to contribute to your search. 
But this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. I wish there was something I could do. Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information, so you might already have the lead on Princess Elder. You see the two bonfires out that way? Hmm. He's in the lodge near there. If you'd like to try visiting him. Okay. Yeah, kids. <laughs> Chulin's profile has been added. So I'm guessing the previous village elder passed away, huh? Well, I can't exactly climb this. There's ice, but let's see how high I can go. Oh, look, another blood moon already. I'm thinking at least a Korok up here before you get to the part where you can't climb up any further. Doesn't look like I can go up any further. I was just curious, maybe Korok. I'm gonna go redeem for another stamina wheel. Oops. <laughs> it's fine. Nothing happened. Hey, Catherine, thanks for the raid. How's it going? How's things? Things are good. How am I? Doing alright. Just got back from a Mother's Day thing. So, I'm a bit tired, but playing more of this. Because I'm, I'm hooked. Did I finish Breath of the Wild in time for release? I did, and I did all the challenge. Finished on three hearts. Yeah. It was fun. But this one I'm playing casually. <laughs> no way I'm doing the challenge with this one. I just want to chill and play it. Experience it. Okay, I'm going to take a little detour before we go further out into this. First let this happen. We just started playing tonight, only six hours in. Won't be staying for too long to avoid spoilers. Oh no, that, that's fine. Understandable. So I'd imagine you just left the initial area and then did a little bit of exploration. It's almost 7am, so you should sleep. Yeah, that was, that was me. I, I played for almost 10 hours yesterday. Like... <laughs> I went to bed at 4 a.m. and then had to get up at 9, so. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Take care of myself tonight. Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll be okay. Well, I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight, for sure. But, uh, how are you finding the game so far? Hup. 
Okay, uh, I'm going to go get the thing that I missed. But at least we're here now. Um, it's fun, the mechanics are unique and there's so many unique combos. Yeah. One of, one of the things I've been doing with the, the new skills has been a lot of fun to pull off. But, uh, this game feels like it's just a way more fleshed out version of, uh, what Breath of the Wild was. You burned your first carriage you built before you've been riding on it, which was a bit sad. <laughs> Listen. You know the, uh, the shrine at the start where... You, you get the ability to, uh, it's the hand shrine. And, you know, there's the the thing on the hook kind of going across the screen. I tried using a second hook to grab it and glue it on. So then I'd pull the thing down. And then that hook got stuck. So I'm like, shit, I can't reach it anymore. So then I got the other hook to try and get the first hook that I got stuck there. And then that hook got stuck. And then the carriage couldn't continue to the full side of the screen, so then I had to get a plank of wood to climb down there and detach the hook so the thing could move again. A shrine that should have taken five minutes took me twenty. But, in that moment of weakness, I have figured out a pretty cool way of moving now. So I have strategies to move through. I was being creative, yes, but I had my moment of brilliance. And I can share that. Because I think this is a cool movement technique. I would require... Where are the balsam construction things? They should be nearby. But I've been using this non-stop. Ah, excellent, over there. No, 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 watch. Just trust me. You're going to be doing this as well. Okay. So you take a square or any surface that you can climb on. Preferably a cube, but in shrines it's cubes, right? So shrines, you can't climb walls and you can't get to high ground easily. You need to try and solve the problem. However, there's been this thing that I've been employing that works pretty well to climb things pretty easily with just a single surface. So, what you do, you line up the surface against what you're going to do. So let's say I want to get up here. Alright, so I put it directly underneath. I let it go. Leave it there for about 10 seconds. Pull it up. Hold it in the air for about 10 seconds. Okay. Drop it. Swap to rewind. Rewind it. Swap to platform. Go through it. Okay. Jump off it. Grab it again. Repeat. Hold it for 10 seconds. Drop it. Rewind. And you can go even higher, but you get the point. I fucked it up because it's like a very thin platform, but you get the idea. With one platform, you can reach a ridiculous height. And so whilst I may have failed miserably at that shrine, in being creative, I'm super proud of this. <laughs> so, okay. I was so happy when it worked, because I just, I was just thinking in my head, how can I climb to a, a spot that was just hard to get? And I was being lazy, I was like, I really don't want to set this up to get this chest. And then I tried it, and it worked, and then I just kept expanding on it. So, yeah. There you are. 
Ah, what a pleasant morning. It's and and if you want to tack onto it, which I'm gonna do even further, at the top of that, whilst it's paused in the air, put down Octorok balloons on top of the platform, and then release it from the time control, and then it'll start floating up even higher. So you can go even higher. We should have called it the Robbie Pad, technically speaking. Come on, Goggles, are you even finish li finishing listening to me? Oh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into the chasm myself. No way, no how, you can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only just barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow a young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end. But I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. What figure? Oh, Swordsman. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team has brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. Oh. This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm, one arm up raised? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there, so I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. Aww. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous, and he won't let me go. Mm. Joshua, come on now. I'll tell you what. I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. And Link will join me. Well, start by looking... Uh, we'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your Puripad's camera to take a picture of, of it for Joshua. A perfect plan. Yeah, this is what I missed. You don't know about the camera. It's one of the Puripad's basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image, one that's stored in your pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the parapad. Well, then I'll teach you how to take pictures, once we're down there anyway. There'll be lots of monsters in the depths though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see. I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and ready to go, come find me there. Ta-ta! Wait, hang on. Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all of this, Swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaves before he looks. But here, maybe this will help you out, at least. Okay, good. Oh, and Texas too. Um... Chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay. You'll want to head straight out of Lookout Landing's southern gate, then you'll find the chasm goggles used out just outside. Don't know too much about how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Yeah, my reading might be off tonight. I am tired. <laughs> Mentally tired, not sleepy tired. It's nice to fast travel, honestly. I have seen some other crazy uses. They're not too spoilery, but just people getting creating creative with the building in the first area. 
and uh, certain failures. Like, it's it's been fun to just check out what different people have done at the start. Alright, where's Robbie? I guess he's at the bottom already. <laughs> he wants to play. Yeah. Don't blame you. This is so cool. I find it kind of strange that this was just glossed over. Like in the reveal trailers, it was all about the sky, but there's more to it. Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I am Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived, but he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds, and now I've run out. It's all a sight of him. Ah. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. But then he just kept going. And going. And last I saw him, he was heading out there, off to the west. Fingers crossed tomorrow, yeah, hopefully you get it. I do have seeds. Okay. You'd be risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves and they'll light up if struck, so pretty easy to use too. I use, we use seeds all the time on the Zonai survey team. The simplest way is to just throw them with your hand. Okay. Oh. Those of us skilled enough with bow will attach them to arrows and fire them into the distance down here. Ah. Oh. If you're going to explore the depths, take plenty of those seeds with you. West, huh? Wait, what is that pointing out? Guess. Yeah, they kind of glossed, glossed over the fact that there would be underground areas. They focused heavily on the sky. This would have been cool to see. Hmm. Muddle bud. A wildflower with a colorful or powerful odor that can disorient and confuse. Okay, so. Didn't go to Kakarika Village yet. No, not yet. I decided to go to the Rito Village, and you know what? I'm glad I did. After what happened yesterday. Pretty glad I did. Great fairies are not in the same spots because we saw one um, near the Colosseum. So it is it has definitely changed. Oh, these things are infested. Yee no, we don't we don't want to get touched by that. still want rupees. I, well, I didn't go because I kind of assumed that they would. Ooh. 
they do that kind of damage as well here. stop this whole <laughs> system. Uh, we want this. No, we want this. I don't want to start selling this until I know what, what it does. strong enough to break them. A hammer. Just anything that's classified as a hammer weapon. Um, so not axe, but hammer. Just anything that's a circular rock will become a hammer, and then anything that's kind of like a triangle shape becomes an axe. shouldn't have done that. It's a smoke screen. I can make a smoke screen arrow. Saw the bird to deal with. Yeah, that. That went down surprisingly easily. Aracuda wing. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item attached. Oh, that's cool. If I want a super long distance arrow, I guess I'd use that. Puff shroom. I wonder if there are any Korok in these lower areas. I don't have them. Oh, this is an axe. Rip. Do I have... I don't really have a club. Uh, uh. Yeah, that counts as an axe as well. I guess I can use bombs. That also works. Oh, 
Where are they? I went past them, didn't I? No, they're here. Oh, crap. No, undo. I don't know. It makes them fly too far out. I'm going to assume this is fine to walk across. Okay. Oh, this looks whoa. There's a statue here. A couple of statues. What? Look at how bright things got. That light down in the stark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, so luminous, it's almost like, like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. <sighs> hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. The statue. It's standing tall on two. It, it's standing tall on two legs. One arm raised high. Looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? Alright, get the camera of yours ready. That's right, I forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the Peripad's basic features. Hmm, give me that Peripad for a second, alright? Well, there's the problem. Your camera is locked and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Oh, crap. <laughs> this is back. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and then you tap that, and... Okay, there we go. Oh boy. Boom. Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. Go and capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly, too. Test it out. Experience is the best feature after all. Once you captured the image, come back. I'll want to see how it looks. <laughs> hey! How'd that go? If you've captured an image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. One feature that was... Missing from this sorely was being able to save it to screenshots. So, did you get a good picture? Stupendous. Looks like you captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense route, getting us a picture of that statue. You've just started helping us research what's going down here. 
but soon enough we're going to have more to investigate. Well then, it's time to head back to the surface. See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Josh wait too long for that picture. Yeah, I wonder if they've added that. Let's see. Oh, nice. No, that's good. That's awesome. Which means now you can just screenshot it. I mean, it looks a bit JPEG-y. Definitely some, some crust. But now if anything funny happens, I can do this and... Yeah, awesome. Alright, they thought of it. Because that was the one downside, is like, you would take these cool photos. But then there was no real way to get it off the Switch and share it. So, well done. That's, that's a good quality of life thing. Okay. Hey you, show Joshua that picture you took of the statue, the figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool too. Hey. This is it, this does match what's going on on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big discovery. Now what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? More of this. I feel like these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you find them useful. That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. Okay, well, that's all I wanted to do. Because now I have the camera feature. Which means... Oh boy. Yeah, I have to start capturing images and all that stuff. Drop. 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 That's been done. All for good measure. I mean, I'm sure I can buy the stuff later, but... Oh, 
a well. Oh. I have not been down here. Well, there's something else I didn't do. Gonna be a lot of photos for a while. Ooh, that's a big find. Royal claimers are usually top tier swords. save that one that's gonna be my my damage item Chank as ever, I see. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, yaha. Ha. No. Um, I do need. Hang on. I do need to make a hammer. Wait, what is this? Topaz rod. <laughs> I don't know what that sound link makes is, but it's dumb. Hey, Sandy, thanks for the 21 months. How's it going? You're up late. So uh, that's that's made available. I wonder if building materials count. No, nope. okay. You're up early. Ugh, okay. Because of dogs. The stuff is gone. Okay. There's drawers full of stuff there. Alright, I'm going back to the retail area.
How am I? I'm doing all right. Just kicking back. Digging into this game. I was up late playing this last night, so we'll see how long I go for today. I did see one from a distance, but I... Let's see. So, according to this, it's straight ahead of me. Okay, I think I know where it is. Yep, it's there. There's also something there underneath. I'll check it out. easy. Yeah. I changed my mind. I remembered. Oh, yeah. See, I'm still getting used to this. The fact that it doesn't auto... auto-select. Before you would just pick the arrow and then just shoot her over and over again, but here you have to refuse. Kind of surprising. I thought the ingredients would count this time, but I guess not. Hang on. Slippery Falcon recommended recipes. Hot buttered apple, goat, butter, and an apple. But have they changed this, like... The problem with the previous game is these recipes were all well and good, but it was still more efficient to just go with stacking the one ingredient. Okay. Wheat, butter, cane sugar. Okay. Alright. I'm going onwards. Where are these torches that got pointed out? It might help if I... hold on.
I'm not going to be too stressed about the Koroks. That doesn't count. That is weird. Sapphire sword. Hang on. I mean, this this one's probably not worth it anymore. Right, so this becomes an ice sword, I guess. Ah, it's you. Okay, let's get building. Don't move. should work, right? I mean, I guess I can still fall forward, but let me... Yeah, this'll do. Okay. It's not what I wanted. Stop. That's the one. Alright, this is not going anywhere. Okay. I've eaten a special ball, so I made... So this cold weather won't get to me. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. What? Are you going to support him? Alright, I'll let go. He's standing! How's the president standing? Ah! That was brilliant. I would have never thought of it. All right, let me get him secured while he's still standing. Ah. This is so dumb, but I love it. Ah. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> you also you must be hungry after that hard work let me give you something I made myself cold weather attack Ooh. Ah. and then a bomb flower yeah that's oh. nice I like this quest because it gives you worthy rewards Oh. 
Hey there. Are you here because you spotted the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but that's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air. Though, as proud of as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlight set up around that fancy Skyview Tower. I won't warm you up. No, wait, I won't, it won't warm you up like a bonfire will, but it's hard to beat for size and sheer brightness. Oh. The Hylians are pretty incredible to have uh, built something so impressive. Okay, I mean, we'll head up this shortly. What is this stuff? Ah. We found these strange things at the foot of the Hebra Mountain. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? Mm. Done the every test I can think of, but I haven't learned anything yet. Not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is that they're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. Probably hurt if you got hit by one, huh? Well, I've got all I'm going to get out of these things. If you want them for some reason, they're all yours. Weapon fusion. Definitely want this stuff. Oh. Link, you're all right. I was worried after I heard that you had gone missing. What happened? Uh. Ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. Our feathers are full, dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. Mm. And all that has been tampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, but I wish I could do more for you. Though now that I think of it, maybe Chulin could help. <laughs> oh, right, you weren't around for it, but... Little Chulin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. His wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even the stern Terba acknowledges that Chulin's skill is a cut above. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but well, it's worth asking him at least. Last I saw him, he was with Gaysane and Laisa on a trip to find food. I think they're on their way to Hebra South Summit Cave. That's to the northwest of here. The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Ah. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave and you'll be on your way to finding Chulin. Is he going to turn into ravioli? Is he getting a ravioli attitude? Milk? Oil jar? Interesting. Getting an attitude like ravioli. Get the tower. I may have enough money for one more armor piece. I'll see. But if I can get two, then I don't have to craft heat resistant stuff. I mean, cold resist.
Speaking of ravioli, I wonder where the skill has gone. Or did it get destroyed in the process along with the sword? I suppose that at the end of Breath of the Wild there, it looked like everyone's souls just were laid to rest, so... Maybe that's the reason why. <laughs> at least there's no climb in this one. Such Skyward Sword vibes. What is this? I can, I can make it up there, I can make it up there, I can make it up there. I feel like with this I need to move it. Like doing that will probably do it a bit more justice. Made it. 
I figured may as well since I'm up here. Plus, it'll make it easier to climb the mountain. Wait, what is that? More than defense. Shit. Oh, shit. Okay, that did not work. I was trying to lure it there, but yeah. That's nasty. in your eyes. Well, I, did you go in a completely different direction to me? I reckon for me. Oh. You saw Rita in the, th the thumbnail. So you didn't head in the direction of the Rita. You've done literally nothing. Okay. Can, did you see the technique that I came up with yesterday? Can I at least show that? Because that is not spoiler, but I feel like you need to know about this. It's in an isolated spot right now. Like right now, I'm facing a wall, so you won't know what I'm doing. Alright. So this is what I'm using to get up to high places, okay? So, let's say I want to get up to some platform really high, right? Is there a platform here that's really high, actually? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Again, it's not spoiling anything. So. Let's say I want to get up here. Alright. You take anything that's a square or a flat surface you can stand on. Okay. Keep it on the ground for 10 seconds. That's about 10. Take it. Lift it up, hold it in the air for 10 seconds. Okay, release it. Rewind time. Swap to ceiling. Go through it. Come up the other end. Get to the platform you want to get to. Grab it. Go up again. Hold it for another 10 seconds. Now, rewind time again. Go up even higher. Now, at the tip of this. Hold Octo Balloons, place Octo Balloons down. It floats even higher. So just think of how high this can go up with very minimal effort. Sometimes you always can't, you can't always stand on it. But the point is you need to raise it in the air a little bit so it returns to the air for 10 seconds. But you effectively create an elevator. Well, I, I guess I'm forming like a pseudo stasis here by holding it on the spot for however amount of time. So by holding it here for 10 seconds, it effectively creates a stasis effect. Okay. 
but you just keep doing it pretty much. And then you just use Octa Balloons on top of that. So once you reach your highest point, you can use Octa Balloons to go even higher. Anyway. Back to spoiler content. Yeah, okay. Listen. When you play this, I highly, highly recommend you go to the Rita area. Much like the game recommends you. That's all I'm gonna say. Because I almost did it, and I'm glad I did. That's cool. You have to go to the dye shop first, that's fair. What? Fuck! <laughs> I reached out for the death counter, and then I was like, oh, wait, there is none. You love the look of the Highland Tunic ingredient, looks good, you also got the cards. Oh, but you got the tiny ones, that's cool. Yeah, so you can get some of the glider designs. like me now. on the amoeba yet. Uh, wait. Oh shit, it does work. Okay, so you merge with a shield to do that. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I was at uh, my parents and my brother had the, the amoeba for the game, the new one, so I got this, the champion's leathers fabric. That's the only one I have so far. You got a fabric with the Lon Lon badge. That's cool. I've heard that the, uh, the Twilight Princess one looks good. Um, it does the mirror of Twilight as a pattern. Oh, it's a cow. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay.
got the Pixel Zelda one fabric. I kind of want that one. I have them sitting here. I should try to get them off stream, I think. On stream's probably just too annoying to watch that because the odds are kind of low. You have to reset quite a bit. Oh. On earth? This is, this is going to yeet me somewhere. If you'd enjoy watching a non-reset version, it's like gambling. Yeah, but there's no guarantee that I'll get them by the end of it. Because you can only use them once per day. Hold on, I shouldn't be doing that. That is dumb. Where would I even be launching myself to? How many cars do I have? Uh, like 30 something? Registers the treasury set. Balloon. You would love a Navi companion to be an amiibo drop. I'm surprised they didn't think of that. That would be a pretty good one. As long as it stays silent, I'm all for it. Okay, so I can climb even higher. Probably enough to get up, right? Oh, they have a most used section, that's cool. <laughs> Wait, how does this work? <laughs> Did I just waste this? Oh no, wait, wait, I see. No chill. It's because I need... I need this thing. Favorite chance is the UI option to drop something while in the treasure chest screen. A simple quality of life thing, but yes, it is great. I have another favorite thing, but I don't want to say it. It's... 
My new favorite thing is redacted. I love redacted. Did I do Robbie's quest? Uh, yeah, I did. I did one of them. I didn't do the couple. I just got the camera and then let it be. Yeah, 50% of the underground down already. Oh, there's a treasure spot. That, okay. I just found a treasure map for the underground. On the topic of the underground. So there are treasure maps in this. So, it would appear treasure chests now have some meaning. As I have just found something that definitely made it worthwhile looking for this chest. I was thinking Korok, Lone Tree. I was thinking wrong. Okay. I probably don't want to fuck with that. I know what that is already. Yeah. Probably don't want to fuck with that right now. But I'll take its picture. Okay, let me go... I'm pretty far away from it. But, I mean, at, at this point, I may as well... I may as well... Go to that back one. Because then it makes it easier to explore these mountain ranges. Because then I have gone to the furthest point. I don't want to go down the rabbit hole up of the underground. I mean, literal rabbit hole. Forward or backward? Thank <laughs> you. 
This ability is cool. So there's no stasis in this game, so what gives? Holy shit. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. This rewind time ability is pretty awesome. Spammable, so this is interesting. Stand on it. Too unstable. I mean, maybe if I crouch on it, hang on. Yeah, it doesn't work. I wonder how many thrown apples it'll take to kill Shannon. <laughs> but no, this, you could probably do it. You spent the entirety of the game collecting. Wait a minute, can't I just... Okay, it doesn't allow it. You would... I think it looks like a solid enough platform. 
Okay. I think I'm overcomplicating it. Have I glitched the game yet? Not yet. Nothing out of the ordinary has happened. I mean, Breath of the Wild took a while before something went insanely weird. Good. Good work. Just reset it, it's easier. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a weird form of stasis, but you can use it almost like stasis. The one area that I'm curious about is um, the Lost Woods. I just want to see if that still lags. But I mean, so far, this this game has uh, risen above it. Have I ran into Sign Guy? I have. I've been doing Sign Guy's quests because they are legit. They're good. Good rewards. <laughs> it's so it's so ridiculous, but I love it as well. The president, how is he standing? You way overcomplicated and end up with these elaborate contraptions. I've done pretty simple ones, except one. The the one in this area was a little bit annoying. Huh? May as well check here since I'm here. I like most recent. Most recent is excellent. Or most used, I should say. That's cool. Oh, it's meat. 
bunch of icy stuff. Okay. It's okay. Overcomplicating it is half the fun. where we stop that. <laughs> That's gonna be a good photo for that one. Oh yeah, the photo thing. I, I love this quality of life thing. Because I took good photos in Breath of the Wild, but I wasn't able to save them. But this is a good compromise, just being able to go like this and then full screen it. So then you can take a screenshot of it. I mean, admittedly, the quality is crusty, but it's a step up. Eee. Blue one. It's probably not a bad idea to fight it, to be honest. Assuming this is still the same. Yeah, I mean... Let's not complicate it for now. If it was a sword one. I'm guessing they've made this way tougher. Like, it's gonna do something I'm not expecting. Okay. Oh. Yeah, see, I was expecting to be on high ground there. It doesn't, doesn't quite work the same anymore. Wait, what else is there to do here? Okay, with us figuring out a source of food, yeah, yeah. Where is... Chillin. Oh. Right now, Chillin are looking at the Hebra South Summit Cave. The cave they were headed out to is northeast, up the mountain road past the cliff out front. Ah. There's a bonfire burning at the cave's entrance if you need a landmark to find it. Okay, thank oh. you. here. What are you doing? Unbelievable. Unbelievable that these huge things are raining down on us. What is happening there in the skies? Hmm? Oh, whoops. I hadn't expected to meet a Hylian here. What are you doing in the mountains in this weather, sweetheart? Don't you see how it's how cold it's gotten? Our feathers keep out the worst of it, but I'm not sure how you can stand the blizzard. If you go further up the slope, you'll see the Hebra South Summit Cave. My friends are there, now gathering provisions. There are glowing mushrooms and fish to be had, which come in handy. <sighs> they keep a bonfire stoked at the cave's entrance to mark the location. If the cold gets too much of you, find that bonfire and warm yourself up in the cave. I think we'll be okay.
Oh, there's like eyeballs now. I just want my photos. Ah! The one thing I'll say- oh my god. The one thing I'll say is... All the abilities seem to be more on the exploration side than being offensive abilities. Have anything of value here? Nope. All right, further up. like this email notification you have saved money on your pre-order like oh really i did yes you saved one dollar on tears of the kingdom oh wow thanks lad to be so frugal What a disaster. I came all this way to this. To, I came all this way to scrounge the mushrooms, and now this. I'll never get to the deep parts of this cave with a messed up wing. Cave. Mm. Chill streams grow all over this cave, so I figured it'd be a prime spot for scavenging a little food. But cold water has built up here now, and I can't pick any chill streams without crossing it. Ordinarily, my wings could take me right over the, a little pond like this, but I hurt my wing in a small scrap with monsters. I don't see how I can fly over the pond in this condition. The worst part is, I just, I was just bragging to the folks in the village that I'd bring back even more children than last time. If I don't come back with at least ten of them, there'll be egg on my face. Oh, because you're a bird. <laughs> Works on two levels. Oh, sh yeah, I saw these before. I'm not sure what they are.
Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. I too flew over it. easy. Okay, what are these things? Sticky lizard. Is this what I think it is? it is. Uh. Yeah. Uh. How am I going to face the other villagers without the ten chill shrooms, I promise? Is this enough? Mm? Wait. You didn't actually cross the pond and pick the chill shrooms, did you? You weren't worried about falling into the freezing water? Well, gosh, that's really brave of you. I can't just take them for free, though. Here, why don't I give you this? Oh. Now I can make good on all my big talk. You know, this isn't the only cave in these mountains with pools of freezing water. Be careful where you explore. Uh-huh. boost. Yoink. They're kind of off following me. Cross Peblet. Wow, that's not a disappointing one.
kind of curious how many shrines there are total. It looks like there's going to be way more than 120 this time. Aid from above. Tried to jump over the sensor, did not work. I'll be able to go back, I'm sure. Oh, shit. Closer. All right, easy. Do like how this looks visually. Okay. I can see the cave coming up. Oh. Let's just talk to this. Where's Chillin? You're looking for Chillin? He's at another cave gathering food with Gisane in them. There's a bonfire. Go west. Oh. 
Okay. What the? That was okay. That was going at a weird frame rate before I landed. Like, look at it. It's smooth now, but then. Oh my god. I, I don't think that's a glitch. I think that's just like, what is that? Look at this. Look at the flag. Would you count that as a glitch? I don't know. But flag just goes down to like a, a 10 FPS if that. Ugh, that's ugh. Didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon, what with the blizzard and all. I'm here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? Oh. Looking for Chulin, huh? Fair enough. He's further in this cave with Gisani. They're scavenging for food. No, I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what we've amassed so far. Ah. Be on your guard. There's a creature in that cave that hops around on walls. It probably won't bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding Chulin. for good measure. Kind of an accident, but okay. Do they get scared of me? If I approach them? They do. So 
how am I supposed to gather them? Other than shoot them. God. Horrible and on. Ah, well, still. Checking the time to get all this fish. What? That's better. Do I really have to clean up all this? Doesn't really go much higher. Alright, let's try climbing. Maybe I'll be able to make it up there. Oh. 
That's kind of cool that you need hammers to beat these things. <laughs> that chillin'. What are we going to do with that boy? It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Oh. Well, I'll be. What is a Hylian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? You're here to talk to Chillin, eh? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. Same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. Mm. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Chulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm going to follow them back to their nest and flew off alone before I could protest. If you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Toronto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. No doubt Chulin followed them there. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but really, he shouldn't be taking these chances. So, uh, Lone Cedar Tree. There. Oh my god. How on earth? to get creative with this one. <laughs> Just when you thought these were going to be simple. Thanks for your help, Ellie. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. I've eaten the special rice ball I made, so this weather won't get me. But I can't stand here forever, and I've got so many more signs to spread around. And I don't know what to do. Try letting go. What? Alright. Oh. Damn it. Nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. I almost had it first try. Oh, crap. Stop it. Okay. 
try, try now. Nice, it worked. He's standing! How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would have never have thought of it. All right, let me get him secured while he's standing. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> okay. That's useful. Very good. I wonder if this kid's going to end up like Ravioli. Am I going to hate the kid? What the... Boss Bacoblin. How did you not see me? This seems serious. That's cool. That does work. See ya. that be Was the kid? Mm. 
Hopefully this goes all the way through. Hey, it did. I don't see anything. I thought he'd be near here. Talonta Peak. Okay. Saw a group of monsters and gave chase. Unless it's referring to this group of monsters here. Take some photos. Jelly. Also, then I don't know what it's referring to. It says it went to the lone, went to the lone tree. 
and gave chase to some monsters. Guard up. Stupid monsters. Well, Link, where did you come from? What happened? Oh, uh, you see, that rotten monster took my good bow. See? That's the bow napper. Gotta get it back. Help me out, Link. Sure. Really? Thanks. Did you know that I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you too. That way you can glide over to where the monster went. Just tell me where to point the gust and I'll make it for you. Chulin's power of wind. When Chulin's aura is, is charged, you can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. It can be used for bursts of speeds when paragliding. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it didn't really work as well as I thought. I want it to be underneath, I guess you can't. It's just a speed burst. Okay. Guess I didn't need it. There we go. Very big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Uh-oh. There's more of them. Alright, they're not gonna make a fool out of me twice. Let's get them together. We did it. Hey, look. I think th this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Oh? Hmm? Was that the wind? It couldn't have been. There's no way. Must have been something else. Oi! Hey, chillin. Link. Huh? huh? Oh. oh. That was some impressive teamwork, you two. Ah, <laughs> you saw that half? Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen to Gusain when Gusain tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it, but I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. 
I thought I was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Mm. I bet now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah, you're right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Mm. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, children. Oh yeah, funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and stole my bow. But I guess she was fine because then she zoomed up above that cloud. What? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How can that be? Hmm, seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Chulin, Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with them and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared into. Huh? But I thought I wasn't allowed. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way through... The only way in is through the top, but... There's not a radio alive capable of crossing the stormy sky and making it all the way there. Except for one. I'm talking about you, Chulin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Chulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Teba. Dad said that? Yep, and I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time... You go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing this blizzard. No problem, the two of us together have got this. I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Link, chill and we're counting on you. Okay. interesting. I don't know, as much as I don't like ravioli, his power seems to be more useful than Chulin's one. A horizontal gust forward? Nah. I like the gust upwards. Unless this becomes, like, an advanced ravioli power. Should be in special controls. No, nope, it's not apparently. Oh, the bow! No, I wanted that bow. I'm getting that bow. I mean, I guess this doesn't seem too bad. I should be able to get up there.
that called? Barracuda. Okay. and appears to uh, help. If only it were possible to find out what's inside of this blizzard. Oh. Why, if it isn't children, I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. But if you've come here, that means... Yep, they said I could go up there. I knew it. Something told me you were the best one for this mission. Everyone has admired your wind gust technique since you first demonstrated it. Ah. You may be the only retailer capable of rising above that cloud to find the truth among the turbulent skies. Give me your best shot. I'll be watching for your return. Uh -huh. Thanks. Between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. Seems to be working so far. <laughs> nice recovery. I love how no one's going to ask questions about that. Rising island chain. Blink! It was around here that I saw Princess Zelda, but now I don't know where she could have gone. Hmm? What is that? What is that thing? Look at that. It's a boat? Huh? Whose voice was that? Was it coming from somewhere up there? <gasps> Whoa! Do you see that thing inside the cloud? Is that another boat? But it's huge! There's tons of... There's little flying boats too. You know what that reminds me of? Hmm. A liner ship soaring built as a skyward passage. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. This whole thing is just like the Song of the Stormwind Ark. Oh. 
Was that children's song true after all? You heard that strange voice too, right, Link? I'm sure I heard it say, come to me. <sighs> it's like it was calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship? <laughs> well, nowhere to go but up. Come on. Dude, <laughs> this is intense, just how big that looks. But I guess this is the start point, right? Downward force. to be clever. It's okay. I mean, that did help a little. Wait, did that thing fall off the edge as well? It did. Okay, whatever. Damn, this is really cool. Okay, so this is setting up what I'm gonna have to do. Clearly. Not good enough. This was a cool shrine. Very different to... to Breath of the Wild ones. And I guess this is just more or less a tutorial of what I'm about to do.
Okay. Well, have enough for another stamina thing. Okay, before we continue, it's time to take an intermission, I think, because it's, it's been three hours. But we're going to continue up into this ominous vortex of ships, so this is going to be fun by the looks of it. But I need to stretch my legs and uh, get a beverage, so we're going to do that. Take a little intermission for two to five minutes, and then we'll return. But if you're watching later on YouTube, uh, this is where I say bye, YouTube. But thanks for watching, and uh, consider doing that fun algorithm stuff if you want to support what I'm doing here. But yeah, see you next time, YouTube.